disease control studies find distancing of three feet between students is safe as long as they wear masks and there are other prevention methods in place. The CDC updated its physical distancing guidelines for children in schools on Friday to reflect this research. Fox 55's Nico Panisi spoke with local school districts about how they're keeping your children safe in the classroom. Students three feet apart. Now the CDC has, has indeed made that an official recommendation. Allen County Health Commissioner Dr. Matthew Sutter says as long as students are wearing face coverings, it just makes sense. When both people are wearing masks, we reduce the spread of these large droplets, which is the primary way that this virus is spread. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends keeping students and teachers in distinct groups or cohorts throughout the day. That helps with us with contact tracing, obviously. So if it, you limit the number of children who are exposed to other children, that helps. Northwest Allen County School spokeswoman Lizette Downey says Nax was already ahead of the CDC guidelines. As of March 1st, Governor Eric Holcomb's executive order allowed for three feet apart in classrooms. Downey says the updated research is a relief. You can't change your bricks and mortar. Downey says classrooms are only so big. Maintaining six foot distance isn't always possible. Fort Wayne Community School spokeswoman Krista Stockman says that can especially be difficult at the elementary level. One of the other challenges we have is students are actually eating their meals in the classroom. And so during those times, they do have masks off. But for many students, mask wearing is second nature. Students actually, they do a great job of keeping their masks on. Um, it's just those times when they're eating lunch, then they do take their masks off. Sutter says it doesn't matter if you wear cloth or disposable. It appears to be relatively safe to have in-school classroom when everybody's wearing masks. And the key is, there's just got to be good mask adherence. In Fort Wayne, I'm Nico Panisi, Fox 55 News. The CDC also advises limiting interaction among teachers and staffs during meetings and breaks in order to limit the amount of potential exposure.